there, Toy here, and today I'm shaking things up on my channel just a little bit. So, if you follow along in even the slightest way, you might know that I used to do movie reviews on my channel, but I stopped doing them because I really felt like the format that I use for my movie reviews just didn't work on my channel. So I just went back to doing them on my blog only. The only problem with that now is that the process that I go through to do my movie reviews is very long and involved and I just don't really have time. It's been months since I've actually posted a movie review and I feel terrible because I've been watching movies and I really like the format that I've been using but it's just it's just too much to do all the time. So I've decided to not completely just get rid of that, but just to do it from time to time when the, when I have, you know, some time to really do an in-depth movie review, movie review and break it down into the 10 phases that I break it down to. I'll I'll do that, but it's not going to be my norm. So my norm will now be to just kind of give you my basic thoughts on the movies that I'm watching. And um, if it's something that I'm watching on TV or Netflix or something like that, I'll continue to um, link to my line-by-line -line impressions as I'm watching it. Um, I, I think that's something that um, a couple of my blog readers really enjoyed. And um, so I'll continue to do that. But for the most part, I'm just going to be giving my overall impressions here on my YouTube channel and then just linking that to my blog. So I'm not getting rid of my longer movie review, I'm just not going to be doing it all the time. And so for my first, um, you know, shorter movie review, it's a two for one. And then I'm also going to be introducing something new that I'm going to be doing on both my channel and my blog. So first let's get into the reviews and I got to get out my notes. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing one movie that I saw in the theater and one movie that I watched on um, Netflix. So the first thing I'm going to review is Odd Thomas. And um, it came out quite a while ago um, and I've, it's been on my queue and to be honest I didn't want to watch it after um, Anton Yelch, Yelch, I always pronounce his name wrong, after he died just because um, I don't know it just felt kind of weird to watch it and for that same reason, I, I didn't watch the Star Trek movie for the longest time, the last one that he was in. So I eventually watched that, and I would have reviewed it, but that was a couple of weeks ago, and it's me, whatever. But after watching that, I was like, okay, I think I'll go back and finally watch Odd Thomas, and I did. And I don't think that Odd Thomas was a bad movie, but I don't think it was nearly as good as I was hoping it would be. I thought the concept was really cool. Um, you know, it, I thought that it was going to be a less serious take on the whole I see dead people theme from Sixth Sense, which it was, but I don't know. I just, um, I just, I don't know. I just thought I would like it more. I think if I were just to give it an overall rating right now, I would probably give it a three because I'm glad I watched it. I would probably recommend it to a handful of people who are no or into quirky stuff like that. But I'm not going to scream from the mountaintops, hey, check out all Thomas. So, yeah, um, I thought that he was good in it. I thought he fit the role that he was playing well. I mean, his name is actually Odd, in case you don't know. I don't believe that's a spoiler for anyone. Um, but I think the whole town is kind of odd. It's like people know that he's different, even though they don't understand exactly how he's different, but they just accept all the oddities around him, even though they don't fully understand him. And I kind of liked some of that, but some of it was just kind of off-putting, like you're perfectly okay with all this weirdness. I don't know. And I didn't particularly like the girlfriend. Um, nothing against the actress who played her, I don't even know her name. I just felt like the banter between those two was a little bit too immature. I felt like it was watching maybe like a high school comedy drama and they weren't in high school. So I think that turned me off a little bit. But for anyone who loves, you know, young adult themed stuff, they won't have any problem with that whatsoever. I think my niece would probably really like this movie, Odd Thomas. I think there's a lot of people who would like it. 
I just thought it was okay. So I would give it a three overall. The next movie that I'm going to review, oh, and I've included the link below for my line by line um, impressions of watching Aunt Thomas because I can do that with the movies that I watch on TV. I just can't do that with the movie theater movies. So the next movie that I'm going to review is what I recently saw in the movie theater, which was Spider-Man Homecoming. And I would have to say that I really enjoy this Spider-Man installment. I love the the new Spider-Man. Um, I, I think his name was Tom Holland or something like that. <laughs> I should really, you know, do a little bit more research before I get in front of the camera. But um, basically, I like the fact that this they didn't try to go back and do an origin story, which at this point I feel like would be really silly because he's already appeared in the Civil War movie. But, you know, Hollywood has done some crazy things in the past. So I like that they just kept rolling with the punches. Like, we all we all know what's happening. I like some of the changes that they made to, like, the characters and the story arcs. Um, I have one complaint, though. I don't, I don't give a crap about the color of a person's skin, language that they speak, culture. I don't care about, any about anything about that. So I don't want to give you the impression that I have issues with that. But I did have a problem with the Flash Thomas character because I thought he was way too short. <laughs> In my mind, Flash Thomas is a tall jock who picks on Peter Parker and all his friends. And we, we did get, you know, a Flash Thomas who picks on Peter Parker, but he wasn't a tall jock, which, again, I can respect, you know, the, the direction that they're going. Maybe they're trying to break stereotypes and develop these new characters. So I appreciated it. But it just really kind of caught me off when I saw Flash Thompson. I was like, that guy's Flash Thompson, you know? So, but other than that, um, I thought that Michael Keaton was phenomenal as the Vulture, which I still think it's kind of funny that he did that Birdman movie that he ended up being the Vulture. But completely unrelated, he's just, he, he did a really good job. I look forward to seeing him play that role again. So overall, if I'm going to rate Spider-Man Homecoming, I'm probably going to give it... Oh boy, somewhere between a four and a five. I mean, it was really good. I don't do halves, so I guess I would just bump it up to a five. Yeah, I really enjoyed the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. And so those are my two for one reviews. And the new feature that I'm going to be starting, I'm going to be presenting it to you here on YouTube and all over my social media and kind of posting it on my blog, is I feel like I need to connect more with people. Um, I don't want to come at people too strong though, so I'm not going to be posing some hard hitting questions, but I am going to be asking a question, just kind of a fun little poll. I'm calling it Curious Questions, and um, I would love it if you would, you know, tell me what your response to the question is and maybe explain why, and then I'm going to try to collect all the data and every month, you know, shoot another video answering the question myself and sharing the data just to try to connect us as a community. It might do absolutely nothing and blow up in my face. Maybe a couple of people will get into it. I don't know, we'll see. So the first curious question that I ask is, what do you think is harder? Writing a song with music, writing a script or screenplay, writing a novel length book, and I say novel length because it could be fiction or nonfiction, it's just, you know, writing a book, uh, writing a poem. I mean, poetry is tough, you know? or writing a recipe. And I include that on there because I think there's a lot of people out there who've never written a recipe, maybe don't, haven't really considered what all goes into creating a recipe that works for everybody. So I included a bunch of these different things. And of course, the first question is about writing because I'm a writer, but I'm really, I'm curious to see what people think about, you know, these questions. I have in my mind what I think my answer is gonna be already. But who knows, maybe after I see some of the data come in, I might change my own, uh, you know, opinion about it. I don't know. We'll see. But I have the question posted here on my channel. Um, it's on my Facebook. It's on my Twitter. It's on my Google Plus. It's on my LinkedIn. I have it in a bunch of different places for people to hopefully see and respond to. And, you know, this is the first time around, so I'm not going to stress. I don't get a lot of responses, but I'm curious to see what will happen. And so... Yeah, that's what I have. This is my new feature where I'm going to do movie reviews and curious questions once a month. And hopefully next month I'll have more to review since I'm cutting down on my long, drawn-out process. 
And, well, yeah. So, that's all for now. Bye-bye.